Welcome to The Dave Show. My name is Dave. Today I'm here to talk to you about this video tripod head that I just got in from Newer. Now I do have the uh, Newer carbon fiber tripod and it did come with this ball head type of attachment with the smaller plate on it for my smaller cameras, my DSLs and mirrorless and that kind of stuff, uh, which is really cool. It does uh, flex and it does lots of different things. Um, but I do more, this is great for photos, photography, but I do more video type work and I wanted a video tripod uh, head with the arm and so forth. So I got this one that will fit on to this that they just unscrew, they have the same mount here at the bottom. So I wanted to show you what this head is about and how it works. So let's take a closer look. Now the tripod head is a fairly simple, it just comes like this unit and it does have the handle to it. And this handle here actually has a little, uh, the, what they call rosette, rosettes, whatever it is, type of connector. And you can connect it to the left side or the right side. Either side is available for this. So if you have a preference, no problem, it'll work on either side. And the handle comes with an extension. So if you loosen this up, you can extend this out to make it a lot longer or you can tighten this up, make it a shorter handle. So here's the plate part of it. They have a release lever here and that will release this and you can just, you press the button to bring it out and you've got this super long plate. Now it does come with the two different mounting sizes. Uh, I believe it's three eighths and quarter 20. Uh, that's more standard. This is uh, for bigger, bigger cameras. And it has the little button, pressure button thing to keep this from sliding around. If your camera has a uh, little hole for that, that is cool. If you don't need this big one here, you can just pop this little piece out and take one of these out if you don't need it. Um, not a biggie, not a problem. And you just put it right on in. Oh, hit the button. It's a little lock. It's a safety lock, so it doesn't come out. So it's not going to come out either way until you press the button. So if you loosen it up, you don't want your camera to go flying off. Um, there is a little indicator here with some marks. So if you have it on a certain uh, place that you want to repeat, you can also do that and then screw this in and lock it in. Now it does come out. You see me do that there. If you have a camera on here, you may not be able to twist it all the way it might hit the camera it's very easy you just take it you pop it out boom turn it and like that i had problems with this to begin with uh the first uh, tripod that i have and i didn't realize it came out and did that so if you have any problems locking it down that's how you fix that issue now this has a nice big knob here on the side uh, if you it says loose and tighten you can loosen it and this is your 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 tipping panning here um, it's it's under pressure you can see it's spring spring loaded this is a um, a fluid head tripod head and you can see that it's it's hard for me to do it without a camera or anything on it and you can get it to where you want to it's nice and good and stiff you get it to where you need to and lock it into place that is super cool and then on this side here you have a button for your panning this has a, again, it's a fluid head, so it's under pressure, it's under stiffness, uh, has indicators on here if you need to uh, repeat a sequence or anything like that. Um, nice, smooth pan head under pressure. You can also lock that down. Uh, and then again, you've got the, the bottom part here. This will come off, so this, this can uh, go on to uh, a quarter 20 or you can open this up here you can take this piece out this plug and then it's the larger um, screw here we go just like that which I think I need to do to mount onto my tripod there's a level there's a little level down in there it's kind of hard to see um, so unless if you have some light or something in there I'm not sure how I'm gonna be able to see that with the camera and everything on it so I don't know if that's really a good place for it to be honest with you um, or if you can even see it without a light uh, maybe mount a tiny little light <laughs> under here that might be a good idea uh, to be able to see it a little LED or something but um, but that's it that's pretty much it for the uh, fluid head tripod uh, head part of it that I did get separate from the tripod if you're looking for a nice fluid head tripod like this this one may be the right one for you